<laughs> Pretty grisly scene in there. Multiple stabbings. One of the orderlies had a finger bitten off. And according to John, it sounds like you were right in the middle of it. John, he's the one that started the whole thing. John has been a model patient for months, Mr. Wang. You, on the other hand, have been involved in two violent instances, and you're not even through your first day. You'll have to forgive me if I find your accusation hard to believe. One moment. Dr. Leland, Wayne's being discharged. Superintendent says he's a liability. Having him here creates an unsafe environment. His butler's here to collect him. Seems you have a visitor. Alfred. Ah, Bruce. Thank heavens you're all right. You see, everything is in order. He is to be released into my care. What happened with those men in your room? The riot with Zaz? You clearly need help, Bruce. He needs extensive evaluation, treatment. Dr. Leland, you know it isn't safe for me here. Look at what happened today. That won't be the last time. That may be true, but I would never let that hinder someone from getting the help they need. I'm afraid it's out of your hands now, Doctor. You have the paperwork. Let's go, Alfred. Ask the fails. Ask her parents. <laughs> What's that about? <laughs> believe that Lady Arkham was actually Vicky Vale this entire time. And all the while she was working with Cobblepot to try and bring me down. It's a good thing the family lawyers were able to get you out so quickly. No kidding. Batman's got some work to do. Even during Batman's brief hiatus, Gotham has become that much more dangerous. And the public opinion on Bruce Wayne... Well, it... Certainly hasn't gotten any better. So many people angry at me. The entire family. I, I just hope I can turn it around. I'm sure you'll figure something out. You always do. Selina? Well, good to know Miss Kyle's keeping in touch from wherever she is now. In other news, if you've noticed the streets of Gotham have been a lot quieter recently, you're not alone. The GCPD has reported a sudden and steep drop in violent crime in the past few days, with the number of 911 calls falling off a whopping 60%. Many are attributing it to the decrease in the visibility of the terrorist group Children of Arkham, whose members seem to be taking some time off. Or maybe it's just our new Mayor Dent making good on his campaign promise to bring down crime in the city. Either way, the citizens are breathing a sigh of relief. Hello, Harvey. You should have stayed in the asylum where I put you. What do you want, Harvey? The streets of Gotham are a dangerous place for someone like you right now. Well, you'll figure that out. Eventually. But by then, it'll be too late. They're only dangerous because you made them dangerous. Armed guards on every street corner? It's insane, Harvey. I beg to differ. With the children of Arkham sneaking around everywhere, those armed guards are the only thing keeping people safe. Maybe you haven't heard, but the children of Arkham have gone underground, obviously plotting some sort of attack, and people are scared, panicking. I needed to show them that my resolve hasn't weakened, that Gotham is still strong, so I gave them an enemy. You and your family's filthy corruption. 
last thing I need is you traipsing around Gotham. Would you listen to yourself? You sound insane. No. I'm just a man who's done letting assholes like you run the world and take whatever they want. Can't let you keep running around scot-free, Bruce. It's the will of the people. You can spare me your will of the people crap, Harvey. I know this is personal. You knew I was interested in Selena. What you did was a low blow, Bruce. A real man wouldn't have done that. A friend wouldn't have done that. Harvey, listen to me. I know what you think happened, but Selena and I are just friends. Period. Don't tell me what I think happened! You're a goddamn liar. Bruce? Bruce! We're done talking. What's going on here? <laughs> well, well, well. Bruce Wayne. You really must have done something to piss the mayor off so much, hmm? <laughs> well, maybe I'll get a bonus for this. Open the trunk. We're searching the car. Now, if we find anything tying you to the children of Arkham, including drugs, weapons, or any other suspicious materials, you will be taken into custody. Go ahead. I have nothing to hide. Doesn't sound like it. Besides, everyone's hiding something. Come on, what's the damn hold up? Get back to your car! Of course. Should have known. Go back to Arkham, you damn maniac! The hell? Careful, or you'll be the next Cobblepot. Showing your face in public like this? Not real smart. What is your problem? Because you are making a big mistake right now. Bruce. Shut up, Alfred! I can handle this! Someone else heard that, right? This psycho just threatened me! Yeah, I filmed the whole thing! They should lock you up! Oh, God, I... Alfred, I'm sorry. I don't... You'll be fine. We just need to get out of this mess. Nowhere to run, dirtbag! Next one won't be a warning shot! All right, now the way I see it, there are two ways we can do this, Bruce Wayne. Either I let these people at you and see how you handle mob justice, or you could make a little donation to me and my boys to help us stay well-funded, hmm? And well-armed? What do you say? They've got us blocked in. I can't back up. This is turning ugly, sir. What would you like to do? Hey, the mayor's gonna hear about this, and it ain't gonna make him happy. Hey, he's the problem, not us! Back up! Back up, people! Bruce! Hey, your father committed innocent people to Arkham and made sure they stay there for the rest of their lives! Keep back if you know what's good for you! Here. It's everything I have, okay? Sure, that'll work. This isn't over. Yeah, sure. Take it up with City Hall. Get us home, Al. Fast. I'm fine, okay? I just need to get to the computer. You're exhausted. And the influence of Lady Arkham's drug may still be affecting you. You've seen the way it's still affecting Harvey. He's a paranoid wreck. Harvey has turned Gotham into a police state. Oswald has stolen my company, and we need to find Vicky and the children of Arkham before they strike again. I can't just ignore it. You're in no condition to work. You absolutely must get some rest. Then help me. It feels like the whole damn cave is coming down around me. Of course I'll help. Let's start by addressing the problem at hand. You're right. 
You're right. Let's just focus on getting my head clear first. Bring up everything we know about Vicky Vale's drug. Yes, of course. If I can isolate the presence of the drug, I should be able to synthesize an antidote. Start a DNA scan. Compare it to my DNA on file in the back computer. I'll make the preparations. Here's my DNA before the incident. This is the refined sample of the drug taken from Officer Montoya after she killed Falcone. It seems that the drug attaches itself to specific proteins in the genome structure. If we can modify the drug's molecular structure, we should be able to create a counteragent. Once you've figured this out, we'll have a working antidote. We can cure others affected by the drug. No. I wish that were possible. This cure is based on my DNA. It'll only work for me. To cure other people, we'd have to... sample and decode the genome structure for each and every person to make them an antidote. We don't have the time or resources for that. That's why we were lucky to have mine on file already. Should do it. So this needs to be injected directly into the vein to work. I don't imagine it'll be much fun. Hopefully that does the trick. It'll work, Alfred. Feel better already. So, what are we going to do now? First things first, I need to know what Vicky... Lady Arkham has been up to while I've been away. Search for all children of Arkham recent activity. <laughs> the press is reporting that Vicky Vale is missing. Yes, and obviously the police have yet to find a body. <sighs> that woman! Trying to get the scoop on you, pretending to care. She betrayed you. I wish things had been different. Maybe I could have gotten through to her. You always try your best, Bruce. She had her own agenda from the start. She was playing me the entire time, breaking me down. She wanted me in Arkham. She wanted me to feel what my father had done to all those people. Bruce. There were bigger plans than me, Alfred. Batman stopped her at the Skyrail station, and I can't believe that she isn't finding another way to use the drugs. Well, if that's true, she may be more dangerous than ever. I know, I know. I, uh... met someone in Arkham who gave me a tip on how to find her. A tip? Do you really think you can trust someone in Arkham Asylum? No offense intended toward your recent time there, of course. He knew that Vicky Vale was Lady Arkham. No one else has that information. I suppose that's not something we can ignore, trustworthy or not. He told me that if I want to know what she's planning, then I should visit her parents' house. If the Vales still live in Gotham, they should be easy enough to locate. Got it. Bruce! Yeah? 
If you do find Miss Vale, please be careful. Yes.